Chrissy and I were talking about something, and then I heard the most amazing thing come out of her mouth, the most amazing idea that I had never <laughs> thought about, and I don't know if I would get away with in my house, and I hope she doesn't tell my wife, but then it's possible that this is probably uh, solves maybe some issues, not issues like marriage issues, yeah. but just issues as far as where is she, where right. is he, when are they going to be back sure. kind of thing, right? So we're sitting here in the studio, and every time that someone comes in the door, both of my bloodhounds decide that they're going to <laughs> bark voraciously. They're bloodhounds in their head. Bloodhounds in their head, yes. meaning uh, <laughs> blue tiny. will draw Nico's blood if <laughs> yes. Nico gets out of line. Mind you, this is the same dog that had a rat running around it in the kitchen, eating all <laughs> of the food and did nothing right. to alert us. He literally lifted his head up and went back to sleep. Yeah. He was like, like everything's I'm, cool. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm bringing you to work out with Brian. Don't, you better not tell anybody, you little doggy. <laughs> Come on, doggy, I dare you. <laughs> Fuck, little doggy. Fuck. <laughs> you can just hear the rat talking to him. And Nico like, oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> not getting involved. Yeah. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. So, dogs bark, kids run in, Inevitably, Matthias will end up in the studio. It's just how it goes. It's a whole thing. So I was like, we should just wait a few minutes until Astrid gets home. And that way we don't have to stop the show or listen to the background noise. We just get away with it. And you said, well, but she might be at the store. And I said, well, can't you check your Find My app? And I said, what the what? fuck is the Find My <laughs> app? I mean, I know what the Find My app is. I have the Find My app. It's like Find My Phone, right. Find My Watch, Find My... It can also be for finding people. It can be for finding people, too. And I never yes. thought about this. I never. I mean, I know you can share location, yeah. like on, on maps and text do. message and stuff. But yeah, but it, you Find can share, My... You can pick who you would like to share your location with on the Find My app. So who made the decision in your household? Who made the decision that this was going to go down? How did that conversation go? Uh, well, it was twofold. One was... Jeff wanted to have that location on with the girls. Okay, that, they're that makes sense. They're teenagers. I get and that. For safety reasons and just because they're teenagers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then at the same time, we do have a 90 year old grandfather who has an iPhone. And so my sister separately was asking, you know, hey, shouldn't we be sharing location for Papa Joe? Our Papa Joe, shouldn't he share his location uh, can, with us? Can I tell And then the we audience? all just started to share ours. So now we, I share with my sister and my oh dad my God, and my grandfather and my, and my uh, husband. I, can I can I tell everybody that her ninety year old <laughs> grandfather is not like any other ninety year old no, grandfather. No, he's not. He's out and about. He is a coxman of the <laughs> highest order. He is the captain of his own ship. He, he is. is like the most interesting man in the world. He is. On Tuesday night, he's likely <laughs> sitting at home watching reruns of Golden Girls. On Wednesday night, he's brought a stripper home from the strip club. <laughs> he's he's at happy hour, and, and Thursday he's in the car. He's still driving. Oh my god! To, much to our dismay, chagrin. Yeah. yeah, chagrin. Th this guy, he has one eye yeah. that works. Works, by the way, <laughs> we're like, uh, why did you give him a license again? <laughs> At the, I mean, we're just we're putting everything on the DMV people. I, I like a lap dance, <laughs> but I like it on my left lap, if that's okay. <laughs> I can't yeah. see it out of my right. <laughs> he looks good. He smells good. He dresses. Oh my God. He's, he's, he's a Italian. snazzy dresser. Yeah. He, uh, the one time, the, the one time I've been to an actual <laughs> party of his, we went to like a company Christmas we party, did. and this guy had more women around him than I could. Than, oh in yeah. One the night, ladies love Papa Jack. Than I had in, in an entire year. <laughs> no. This guy was incredible, and yeah. these ladies weren't like, "Oh, he's cute, Papa Joe." They were like, "I want to get up uh, on that." <laughs> No, I want to ride he that turtle He would dance with dough. me and spin me around, I think, to attract the ladies then to him. And then they would fly, I don't know. He's fly got that, into his arms. He's got that cool factor that you just can't buy. Okay, so <laughs> you guys have... So, so I can share. understand this. I can so understand this how this kind of creeps up on you, right? So it's like, you know, you have the teenage daughters. I agree with this sentiment. When I have a teen uh, teenage daughter, she is certainly going to have the fine my eye. And, and quite frankly, my son. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't want anybody to think that, you know, it's just because a girl can't take care sure. of herself. I want... I want to understand where my 13, 14, 15, 16 year old son and daughter are yeah. at all times because I or know at least where their phone is. <laughs> I didn't have find my shit. No. Find my was. I hope Brian returned <laughs> I home know this that morning. My parents yeah. were the same way. Yeah. We didn't even have phones you could get a hold of. Yes. I had a beeper. I just ignored it. Pay phones, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Unless you were looking for weed, man. <laughs> I just ignored it. But I never thought about this as a possibility of something that we could do to help each other understand exactly when yeah. and where we're going to be home. Because that's it's a helpful. If if Astrid and I call each other five times in a, in a day, 
Three of those phone calls are, where are, where you? are you? Yeah, that's oh, it. Well, then or do I'm on my way home. Share locations. Come on. I'm gonna, we're going to bring this up in front of the committee tonight. <laughs> we're going to see how it goes down. Yeah, if you have, if you have nothing to hide, it should be no problem. She hates when I go to the tanning bed. Up. That's the only thing I'm concerned are about. Are you still going to the tanning bed? Still. still? Are what they still, still operational? <laughs> <laughs> still. Did I ever stop? I mean, what? I, yes, I go to the tanning okay, bed. I go okay. to the tanning bed during the winter months. I don't go during the summer months. Very often. Like, I, <laughs> I don't go very often. I didn't know this was still a thing with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's like smoking okay. cigarettes. I'm going to have to kick the habit one day. But mm-hmm. I really do feel like it improves my well, mood. Well, there is the light. Yeah. But... I do feel like it improves my mood, especially during January, February, and March sure. when it's just like the days are short. That I don't get any sunlight. I hate the cold. fucking cold, so I don't want to be outside almost yeah. at all. And I just feel like it brightens my mood. And I don't go to the tanning bed daily. It's not like I'm there every afternoon. You bought the daily package. I did. <laughs> <laughs> my wife caught me. She caught the American Express. She was like, did you buy a package? Because they keep charging our card on the third. And I'm like, no, no, no. That's when I go. When I go, they hit. she's like, they go, when you go, it's $129. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, I don't know. Just talk to the people at the tanning bed. She's like, I am. I am going to call them. <laughs> You got to stop going to the fucking tanning bed. And I might go once every 10 days. And that's okay, I, you know, a little I, boost. Yeah. But, you know, unless Astrid asks, I don't offer that information of. <laughs> OK, well, so that, that's the only thing yeah. you have. Then, but I told so. her, I said, if you want to know if I go to the tanning bed, just smell me because I smell like dead, burned skin. Yes, and that, that's that how smell. you know. There's I remember that smell. That smell. God, mm-hmm. that's a wonderful smell. Isn't yeah, it? No, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I love it. I would go to I would go to the pool. When, when we were, you know, when I was single and we were friends and I was living over downtown, we would go to the pool and we'd sit out there for we would. hours we drinking. Would. I mean, I used to rub oil, just straight oil, like not baby oil. I was at least doing the Australian gold. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> Australian gold. <laughs> yeah. But it had no, no SPF sunshine. protection and I would just get real, very oh, tan. Oh, my God. I can't I, even believe I was doing that. I never won. I, I didn't even own any kind of sunscreen no. until I was in 40. I didn't even own sunscreen. And yeah. that wasn't until I met Astrid yeah. when she was like, you're a fucking dumb dude. <laughs> yeah, okay, the tan might look good, but skin cancer is going to look worse, right? right? 